Black Widow, Latterodactus Hesperus. Typical sign of a Black Widow. That's when you have crap hanging in the air like this. Black Widow webs are so strong that they can hold a really surprising amount of junk in them without falling. Um, kind of interesting, there's a snail show right there. Never really heard of any snails before. So we gotta look up underneath something. Sure enough, there she is. Looks to be an immature female. Maybe. Maybe it's actually a brown widow. Come on, honey. Wow, she's really stripy. Come on, darling. <coughs> There's actually a body of another spider underneath there. Pretty funny. Come on. <coughs> there we go. They can't be too rough with her. Because they're not inclined to bite, but they will if you make them. There we go. Come on, sweetie. Yeah, so if this is actually a brown widow, then that makes it Latrodectus geometricus. Oh no. And if it's a black widow, it makes it latrodectus hesperus. Let me get some pictures so you can see what I'm saying. But it's got real heavily striped legs. Uh, she does have a pretty orange, orangish red hourglass on her. Well, I might have just bought myself a ticket on a ride I didn't want to take. Um, got a little too rough with the lady when I was trying to take pictures of her. And uh, she might have bit me. I, I hope she didn't. Um, she definitely put her, her jaw parts on me. And definitely I could feel a, a little bit of a pinch. Um, I'm sweating because it's pretty hot. I'm not sweating because of the bite yet. Uh, I was actually walking to my grandma's house right now, so I guess I should probably get over there. Well, I'm pretty sure I didn't get envenomated, but this could be a heck of a lot more interesting uh, video than I was originally intending, eh? Well, we shall see. Oh yeah, I was bitten on my left hand, my pinky on the outside edge, uh, kind of in the middle of my finger. <laughs> Could be interesting. I'll uh, keep you informed. Uh, it's been four or five minutes since I might have yet bit. And, uh, Any bit of cramping or tenseness in the muscles of my left arm. <coughs> uh,
general muscle cramping isn't necessarily a symptom of getting bit, but there is something to do with muscles, um, particularly the uh, abdominal muscles, really bad cramps in them. So the interesting thing when you're dealing with an envenomation to not imagine symptoms that aren't really there, to not imagine symptoms worse that are really there but are fairly negligible. Uh, <laughs> sounds silly, but you pretty much just got to stay calm, see what happens. Uh, if, if I did get bit, if I did get bit, I'm not planning on going to the hospital right now. Planning on riding it out, especially if it's a brown. Uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't really be any chance of me dying or uh, really getting mangled or anything. Keep you informed. Well, it's been about a half hour. Walked around two miles. Don't really feel anything. So if I had to guess, I'd say I did not get him animated. I definitely got to try by it. Uh, aside from the uh, obvious thing I did wrong, which is playing as a dangerously venomous animal, um, anytime that I think you get bit or stung, you should always try to if you can safely do it, collect the animal for later expert identification. Uh, you know, that's good for a number of reasons. Uh, if you do get bit by something horrible, they'll know exactly what it is. So if there's antivenin available, get dosed up with that if need be. Probably the more important thing is, a lot of times people think they get bit by it or recluse or something like that and this is a harmless little grass spider and they could save themselves a lot of worry and heartache if they collected the spider. Uh, well, if I start to feel anything crazy I'll be sure to document it and let you guys know. Absolutely unbelievable. I went to my dad's house to talk to him for a second. My grandma was with my dad. And uh, <clears throat> I saw an immature widow in his window. And I told him, hey, you got a widow there. I take care of it, but I already got bit once today. And I was like, oh, what am I talking about? What are the odds? So I just grabbed it, and it bit me. I, it bit me. Got less than a tenth of a second of contact time. I stopped bending down and flicked my hand and uh, flicked it off, but honestly, it, this is ridiculous. Uh, hopefully, it's another dry bite. I'll keep you informed. I think it's been about three hours since the first <coughs> bite and about two hours since the second bite, and I thought I might feel a little bit of like hypersensitivity and sort of nervous energy, but could just be being nervous. Um, still hoping I lucked out and got two dry bites. Still seems to be the case. Uh, I'd say if in another three or four hours I still don't feel anything, uh, I lucked out. I'll keep you informed. Well, it's Caco Seraph 2, Black Widow 0. Uh, it's noon the next day, and I'm pretty sure that both bites are dry, because I really didn't experience anything terrible. Um, certainly makes me think about playing with black widows, brown widows, but uh, I don't know if I'm going to change my behavior or not. Still thinking about it. Thanks for watching, and if you're disappointed that I'm not in racking terrible pain at this point, uh, shame on you.